A local pool in Cuenca has become the refilling station for helicopters, water bombing and nearby fire. The flames have been raging for 12 hours and every minute is crucial. And this blaze is just one of many burning through forests and fields, sparked by a heat wave and the worst drought in decades. These men you see battling the flames are from the military emergency unit and they only get called in once the local firefighters are overwhelmed by the fire. A special military task force operates from Spain's main airbase near Madrid to deal with weather-related emergencies. It's the people's faces after they lose their homes. It's the hardest part and you feel a huge responsibility to end the fire as soon as possible so it doesn't hurt them. Captain Rafael Lopez says on this occasion they've been lucky, but he's keeping an eye on what's known as factor 30. When temperatures top 30 degrees, the winds are more than 30 kilometers an hour, and humidity is under 30 percent, that means trouble. The flames spread out of control. The task force has built up a reputation for its work in difficult situations and is now sent to other countries to help out after natural disasters. In the control room, coordination with units around the country is vital, as is up-to-the-minute evaluation of weather patterns. We are deployed around the, all the country. Uh, that uh, allowed us to deploy to an intervention in no more than four hours. So from the moment that we received the call, we are there in four hours working with, on the ground. During a Spanish summer, most of the country takes the month of August as holiday. But the emergency task force is always fully staffed. The SOS call can come at any time. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera, Torrejón de Ardoz, Spain.